Yeah. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Right on. Yeah. What are you doing? Just taking pictures? Yeah, yeah. They're kicking them out tonight, supposed to be. Yeah, at 10 yeah. p.m. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was uh, wondering if they had like any kind of plan or anything. Um, I are, think, people, are people moving? Are I think people most people are having to move because, um, you know, the city's been so brutal. They've just been taking people's stuff. Yeah. They've been, you know, just, um, uh, what you might call it, they've, they've been, uh, yeah. they've just been kicking people out all over the place. It's, it's crazy. I should warn you too. I've got my um, I've got my uh, thing running because I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, no. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. cool. Oh. Did you just come down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because I, I came like a few weeks ago, and Channel Two News was over there, and I was asking like why they were over there, and they said that they um, had to leave on the 16th. Yeah. 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 It's really tough, you know. Apparently, there've been people. Um, coming in and telling the people they don't have any rights, you know, and it is true that the city and county has been really, really, um, they haven't been respecting people's rights, so it's like people don't have them if the government doesn't respect them, right, right, you right, know, right, right, right. and so that's, that's been the situation. It's really tough. Have you been down here? The, down down over here they, they made a um a Puhonua a, a place of refuge, you know, it's like beautiful rock work. Really? It's it's amazing, yeah. I'm oh, gonna I walk agree. over, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of documenting before okay. I um sorry, what was your name again? Danielle. Danielle yeah, yeah, yeah. Laulani. Laulani, okay, yeah, yeah. How's D'Angelo? He's doing good, he's on Maui right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Will you be around for a little while? Yeah. Oh, right on, right okay. on. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll be around. I'm just going to go down while there's still light and try okay. to catch yeah, yeah, some yeah. stuff. Definitely. Okay, take okay. care. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is the home of Jimmy Raposa, and this is his friend Mike, and his dogs. And here are some supporters from Occupy Honolulu or Deoccupy Honolulu. Yeah, Hello. You see the number seven dog? They they have quite a setup over here. This is my first attempt at at live streaming. Wow. <laughs> you you want to go down to the other encampments down there? Um. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe I'm. Um, we'll just do it quick. I'm, I might just walk down the road a little bit. You know, I just the light is so thin now, so I just want to. We're gonna turn on the spotlight. Stay here. I have to stay after the road. Yeah, go ahead, man. Hey, hey. Oi, 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 guys. Boy. Oi. Give me side here. Oi. Mr. Raposa, is there any other um, help that that we can give right now? Anything, anything else we can do to help?
no, no, I'm good, man. You know, I, I appreciate that. But uh, I just come move my stuff over and then I get a few more and then I'm going to do I get to 10 o'clock again. Even then, be on and okay, whatever. You know what I mean? I just let them. Uh, I go in the morning, we are good. I just come move my camper this way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I move that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If it's okay with you, I'm just gonna keep taking a little bit of video and pictures. Then. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anytime you need help, let let us know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Thank you. Okay, mahalo. Yes, yeah, come here. Let me know if there's anything that, that you folks can use help with, yeah? Or any of us. Well, you get another truck like that? No! I get one uh, station wagon, but kind of junk. I'm only joking. He almost done. A little bit. Yeah, he almost done. He's going to leave the rest for, uh, for the city and county to play around. Yeah, yeah he's got a plan as to what's going to stay and what's going to go. Pretty much. Well, well, Lonnie, we're just uh, about to uh, look at the sunset go down here. So what, what do you think about this happening? The sunset goes down today. It's horrible. I think people of the land need to be respected. How about you? What do you think? <laughs> I guess this is an image of, of someone just, just trying to live uh, close to the land and honestly and uh, near the ocean. Of how people Make used to live commonly. People up forgot up. that. And when they, they started like putting up uh, walls and you know, their nuclear families and kind of forgetting about community. And these people depend on community to survive. If it wasn't for the community and people talking and cooperating, it would be hard to pull this off. So this isn't just one guy, it's a whole community. You wanna, Oren? Do you wanna take a walk with me? You can um, maybe, you know, comment on the on the way. Oh. Well, I'm not sure what to say, but uh, yeah, the, the cattle and the flag. He put this. What's he gonna do? Made sure it was uh, some feet away from the easement, right? And this is the 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 paddle to to um, symbolize Kanavai Mamalahoe, yeah? Yeah, by the roadside. Uh, women and children. Uh, all people. All people are allowed to uh, lie by the roadside according to the Hawaiian nation law. The law of the Swinter Paddle. Which was also recognized by the, um, by the state. By the state. And it's on the badge of the HPD, too. So, I guess originally it was observed, do you think? And now it's uh, now it's uh, uh, just, just forgotten. It's blade uh, is with the Occupy yeah, hi. cabinet, and we're we're on Verizon Ustream, which has a tower here, which makes it easier to. Oh, the tree. It's actually yeah, tree. It's actually T-Mobile. T-Mobile. <laughs> ad. Ustream always has an ad, your ad but, but nonetheless. Oh. But uh, you're you're here in solidarity. So oh yeah, you're totally. Um, uh, a few of us came out here. Um, Solidarity with the well, I, I guess I'd say houseless, but they're not houseless at all. They they they've completely built their own structures, and it's actually pretty amazing. Like this guy's got a trailer, and then this part here, another guy had his uh, van pulled up, and he had a canopy next to it, and all that. And that's like that's kind of the way I want to live, actually, just like always on the move and then set up wherever I am, you know. Why do you think, both of you, why do you think that the um, that the city has such a need? to chase these people out. What's the point? Um, it's my understanding that the rail, uh, the people behind the rail project, um, want to use this land, actually. Um, they want to, I, I don't know if they want to develop it necessarily, but uh, it, it basically keeps coming down to money. You know, that, that's why they want these people out of here is because you have, you have generations living here. You have, you have, you have you know, lots of families out here just living free. My family used to come here every weekend to Miley Beach and camp out. 
Yeah. So a long, long history. Or ever size now. Yeah. Now it's difficult to do that, yeah. Is it? Well, I mean, I guess you could still technically camp out here, but not after Permanent. not after tonight, not after tomorrow when they finally do come into Vic. I don't know. That, that sucks. They're going to bulldoze this whole area. They're going to get rid of everything. We, um, there's a family down there where um, the rest of our group is. They're helping them break down their camp. Um, they actually have like metal structures and all that, and then they have tarps on them and stuff. It's really cool. It's like carpeted and everything. It's really beautiful, actually. But um, yeah, they have all these plants growing, and it says so on the paper that any plants um, are going to be discarded. They're just going to throw them away, like all this aloe, all this... Uh, just whatever they're growing, you know, you can't, you can't throw away plants like that. They, they commodify everything and make you live in an expensive house and you have to live uh, kind of in a box. It's a reductionist kind of logic. Mm -hmm. Brings things down to like... Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's just that uh, we, we, we all have to live in that, uh, that uh, Walmart kind of uh, shopping box. Pardon. No. Do you think it's legal what they're doing? No. Why? Tell them. Why is it not legal? Well, because these people, some of these people have been here before the state even came in, yeah. before before the white man came in and just colonized the whole place. And I mean, this this the, all these islands have been recognized twice as illegally occupied, yet nothing's done about it. Yeah, there's no annexation treaty, so there's no state. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's still the Hawaiian nation. Uh, all, all you guys watching know. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. <laughs> look it up. But, uh, yeah, it's just. Well, there's another. There's the real the real wealth is, 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 the, is the land. You know, it's not in things. And and here we have a Hawaiian family, literally being pushed off the land. right behind us as we speak. I feel that there's a couple laws that protects them to be. Oh yeah, there's kind of I'm a Malibu. Yeah, yeah, you have the law to splinter paddle, and uh, since there is no actual curb, which is meant to keep a car from going over, which we all know they all run over curbs, but it's, it's meant to keep a car contained, and then you had the sidewalk. Well, since there's no curb or sidewalk, yeah. I this believe that guardrail, right, I believe that guardrail is the marker for, uh, you know, that easement, the easement basically. goes over here, right so here. So that puts right them here. beyond the, right, it puts them beyond the guardrail, and with having the ocean on the other side, if they threw a pole out there, they can't kick them off the land. As for sleeping here, well, they never marked on what's the legal amount of it, how far There's in. no boundaries, they haven't right. declared anything. This isn't an actual park, it's undeveloped property. It's they, a butted land. It's there. a butted yeah. land park. If you look on the tax maps, uh, section 29, there's a park that's on there. This is all this they, they actually drew a little arrow and called it a park. It's not even, it's someone's handwriting and wrote it in as a park. It, it's not actually part of the map. Someone just added it. And uh, So do you, do all of you feel that, um, do you feel that uh, the city is likely to respect its own laws? I mean, does in your experience, in your first-hand experience, um, because someone has legal rights, you know, whether those are international laws or national laws or state laws or city laws, um, what's your experience about the government following its own laws? Well, they certainly don't follow their own laws. I mean, they write their own laws to try to codify their actions, but then they always break it and stretch it very loosely all the time. Uh, just this kind of action, Bill 54, Ordinance 1129, like that sort of stuff totally violates um, uh, uh, the UN's uh, human rights um, treaty. I, I, I'm not sure if it's a treaty or a... Or a the Declar the U U Universal Declaration of Human yeah, Rights. that, that, mm -hmm. that um, wait, wait. Entering a tent, Jeez. taking property. Mm -hmm. did San Francisco. Went in the Fifth Circuit or something? Yeah, the San Francisco Fifth just uh, made an announcement about it about approximately a week ago, a week and a half ago. It's still going through court, so it hasn't been finished off. But uh, 
as of right now, he told her, um, told the San Francisco PD, which is also encompassing uh, part of Oakland, uh, to stop, to cease. And then uh, DOJ, DOJ, and then you got out in Wall Street where uh, they came up with another law that made it even more uh, pronounced that, uh, you know how like uh, uh, Central Pacific Bank and all them are saying we're not allowed to be on their sidewalk? Well, we are. Right. And so now in uh, Wall Street, they're sleeping right up against the building. Good. Because that, that property was meant for uh, travel for people. It was designated for that. Even though it's private property, they may not be allowed inside, but they can't hinder a person's right of movement, especially in designated area of movement, so that, which gives them even more you know, reason why they could be here. So now that now you've established that they're allowed to walk through here and you know, use these lands that you've established that they can't kick them off if they had a fishing pole and you can't kick them out for sleeping. So no matter how you look at it, whatever, you know, what they're doing is there's nothing they could do. This is people's homes. So if they was to come in with a bulldozer, it's illegal search and seizure. If they come in to take their property, same yeah. thing. You know, they wake them uh, for sleeping, you know, that's unlawful in itself just in the state constitution they kick them out for fishing mm -hmm. then you got maritime laws also and fishermen gathering, laws gathering you know. rights for, uh, right cannot come right out so there's there's the all sorts UN. of things that i'm protect i'm gonna take a walk down yeah. this way if anybody would like to come with me yeah. and continue to comment that would be great i just want to kind yeah, of cool. um there's a lot of things happening Beautiful sky tonight. another family, a whole bunch of families that are having to move. These are the people that have been taking care of this land for many, many years. There's a, there are a lot of stereotypes about them. People say that they have a lot of trash. It certainly is difficult when some people don't have cars and there is no trash pickup. But at the same time, um, from the people I've been talking to, they spend more time picking up the trash of others who come into the area I'm trying not to catch people on film without their permission or being videotaped. So this whole area here used to have a lot of people in it and you can see They've done a lot of planting. There are beautiful um, garden areas still here. The houses have been torn down. But you can see the work that people have done to caretake the land. And their plants are still here. Here's where a house used to be.
these are ancient native people who've been here for, in some cases, thousands of years. You can see how it's been a really low impact way of life. I'm sure that my house has done more impact than this. They've used what they can. There are a lot of recycled materials that went into things. These are the fresh green, like the leftover of the dandelion you can eat. Yeah? And the medicine. There's oregano. Uh, that's an ilima. <laughs> 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 Don't go eating anything, oh. Orin. Just, 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 uh, please do me a favor. <laughs> Here's the ocean. You know, and you can see, if these were dirty people, this would be a mess. But it's not. They've done a pretty good job of taking care of this beautiful place. Here's another house, or what's left of one. A lot of people tried to take the what materials they could so that they can rebuild. We don't know where. Wherever people can find a place to survive. We've made a floor here. Again, recycled materials, very, very low impact. Stonework. A lot of it real Hawaiian type stonework. And these are just people's houses or what used to be people's houses. But this is the reality of Hawaii. This is the Hawaii that people are not seeing in Waikiki or in the movies. The reality is Native people being abused by the government, being kicked off their land. There's a government no trespassing sign over there behind this lovely aloe. And you can see where another house used to be. This is a whole community completely destroyed. For what? We don't know. This isn't even in the name of um, development or um, anything per se that we know of. As far as we know, although, you know, certainly it might come in, um, as far as we know, it's pretty pure abuse to just basically force the native people off the land and into um, what they call shelters, but a lot of the people out here feel are more like concentration camps. The shelters that people are being forced into are very, very, um, they're very restrictive. 
They cannot practice native culture. They cannot visit their family anytime they need to. They cannot have their animals. Almost everybody out here has animals, you know, which are, for the most part, really friendly. Hey, Orin, it's getting pretty dark. I may have to close soon just because of the darkness. Yeah, we're all beaten down by the sun. So you folks have been out here helping people to um, break down and document, yeah? Yeah, the other, a lot of the other people are down the road a bit. They're helping break down up there. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, also, uh, you put on Ustream, uh, Andrew Smith and Nova Smith came, uh, I think on Saturday or sometime like that earlier. And... Uh, Nova's been staying here all, all week, I mean, all since then, with uh, Andy. Mm -hmm. And they've been trying to spread the word too, yeah? Yeah, with uh, Facebook and with uh, YouTube. And so we got your videos and <laughs> synced the lips a little bit and then got, got it on YouTube. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. No, I, I no problem. I a lot of Facebook and <laughs> shared it. And re uh, oh, the wonders of technology. Yeah, I got two hours sleep. <laughs> oh gosh. But, uh, okay, well, don't crash. Yeah, that's what I'm about to. Excuse me, my fumbling uh, uh, vocabulary. But, uh, anyway, the thing is, uh, I guess our economic system assumes that everything in nature is substitutable and we can go like from whale oil to coal to gas to. to uh, Nuclear power, and if you keep going, they say, but you know, sooner or later you run out, and you can't substitute nature. So that, that, that uh, and everything needs to be quantified in terms of money, and uh, humans only move by the profit motive, you know. And money means happiness, and all those are just uh, fallacies of our economic theory. You got to realize that. Uh, Development is uh, is uh, sustainable development is an oxymoron. Uh, you, development we need to get beyond developmentality, as Evald Deb said. But uh, you know, of course, uh, what what is truly uh, ecologically sound, you know. So these people, you know, even though there's a there's been quite a bit of media stereotyping of them being dirty and all that other stuff. But it seems to me, from what we can see here, they've been living pretty close to the land. Yeah. They're using far fewer resources yeah. than a regular house, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're using, in most cases, practically zero electricity unless they have a generator in which yeah. it's minimal, right? That's true. So all those sustainability plans can take a word from these resilient uh, kind of living here. Uh, yeah, like you, like you said, it's zero growth is... It, it, it can be done, and you see it here. You know, this mm -hmm. is an example of. A, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's tough, but the society bent their minds to it. They could figure out how to make it. I'm not sure bit. if you can even see anymore. It's yeah. pretty dark, but this is another place where people lived, and there's a lot of stonework. Keep on growing with the society, it'll keep eating itself and destroy everything. So we need to figure out ways to, you know, live uh, zero growth with advancements, and, you know, working cooperatively to do so and not isolating people and, uh, you know, um, making them consume more and just, uh, uh, live uh, not drawing their labor not from the land they, mm -hmm. they wanted to draw labor from the boss you know mm -hmm. right and, and the, instead of the land and people if they can draw labor from the land they can live in what's called the commons where we all share it together and no one owns it you know okay and that's what this kind of represents the commons there's a star starlight star bright please make it portal tonight Actually, it's a planet, but... <laughs>
<laughs> we'll, we'll just we'll just say it's a star. Yeah. That's, that's the north. That's the what is that? Venus. Yeah. Venus. Mm -hmm. Always the first one to show. What does Venus represent? What what was the Venus star represent in traditional? Um, well, it's um, in Hawaiian tradition. In Hawaiian tradition, it's it's uh, because it's the first thing that you see. It's like um, you know, it's it's the beginning of it's the beginning of the pole of the of the night, and so. It, sometimes it's the last thing you see. Sometimes it's the uh, sometimes it's the, the first, first thing, thing that you see. Yeah, yeah. But it's um, it's definitely you know it, it brings in the night and takes it out. What do you think of the ocean and the rocks and all this? It's pretty amazing. Huh? People live here, right next to this. Amazing. They fish. And they'll be back. These folks left. These these were the folks you were helping. No, I just walked the street a little bit. Mm, okay. But look, everybody's out. This was a community, I guess. Yeah, right. right it's a right. big community. Uh huh. It wasn't just a few households. Right. And the city's going to come tomorrow and bulldoze it. Right. There are a lot of children. This is the place they played and lived. A lot of old people that told stories. I mean, in a lot of ways, it's hard. You don't want to idealize it, but uh, but it's still. They connected in ways that's very unusual. You know, they really depended on each other and talked and communicated. And that was the great thing. People getting together and actually communicating and not being segregated from one another. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like you've been, you've been.